Extra, extra, read all about it. United Way of Miami-Dade has a new president and CEO. Her name is Maria Alonzo. She's taken over for Harv. No, Maria's not new to United Way. She's been a volunteer for more than 20 years. She's simply getting to know us better, and boy, do we have a hurricane of a surprise for her. As we do every year, United Way helps young children get off to a good start and offers youth the tools they need to make sound decisions in school and in life. We empower families on their road to achieve financial stability, and we invest in programs that help thousands of people live healthier lives, which includes helping older adults stay active and independent. Together with thousands of volunteers like myself, United Way fights for education, financial stability, and health of every person in our community. We fight for a stronger Miami, and here's how it's done. First things first, on Maria's fifth week, we got sideswiped by a Category 5 hurricane named Irma. Did you know that our United Way is the volunteer and donations arm of Miami-Dade County in case of emergencies? Well, we are. We coordinated hundreds of volunteer hours and awarded more than $6 million in aid to families in the affected areas. This year, we even got more serious about volunteering, inviting our community to join us at some of our agencies or host their own projects. All in, we mobilized close to 3,800 volunteers who gave over 17,000 hours of their time. During National Volunteer Week alone, 308 volunteers clocked a total of 906 hours. We painted Athena Crowder Elementary School, donated books and clothes at the Goodwill and Salvation Army, cleaned up Key Biscayne, read and jammed with children, revamped volleyball courts at AMI Kids, planted orchids at Easter Seals and joined the American Red Cross for our second Leaders Day of Action, where our volunteer groups arranged 600 hurricane kits and delivered them out in Hialeah Gardens. Did you know that hundreds of local corporations and organizations partner with United Way every year to raise funds and awareness? They organize workplace campaigns, host volunteer projects, run 5Ks, paint murals, tug planes, host dance-offs, play soccer and kickball, compete on social media, and dunk their bosses in water tanks. Even our organized labor partners get in on the fun and host a Labor Lives United golf tournament, all to benefit the community. Talking about having fun while doing good, the pioneers of that are young leaders, also known as the older millennial group. They are trailblazers that have mastered the science and art of giving back growing professionally and personally, while also bowling, kickballing, and sharing lots of laughs along the way. This year, they took it to new heights with the crowdsourcing project that led them to plant an urban garden in Opalaka called Turnip the Bee. And now to my favorite, Link Miami, the uh, younger millennial group, the bestest, greatest, most charming group of the bunch. Okay, in case my excitement didn't give it away, I'm in Link. We believe in high fives, sweating it out, and being the change we wish to see in the world. The highlight of the year for us was getting to dance and play dominoes with abuelitos and abuelitas from Southwest Social Services. The Women United Group changed its name, not its mission. These amazing ladies kicked off 2018 with a massive breakfast, headlined by one of Forbes' most powerful women in the world, Andrea Young. They also stuffed backpacks, championed for early literacy, learned from each other at fabulous Let's Do Lunch panels, and mingled on the Miami River. All sorts of great events that I wasn't allowed to crash. United Way's highest honor is awarded by our Tocqueville Society. This is a group of Miami's most generous givers who truly inspire people of all ages to be a part of something bigger than themselves. This year's Tocqueville Award for Outstanding Philanthropy honorees are Constance and Mike Fernandez, who have contributed more than $100 million to charitable causes. Recently, they donated a $885,000 gift to United Way's Mission United to empower veterans and their families. Tocqueville Society also hosts monthly breakfast and lunches, hashtag Tocqueville Tuesday, where businesses and community leaders come in and drop their knowledge. For the 55 plus crowd, we have a group for you. Continue United is shaking things up by staying active and engaged in our community. Throughout the year, this group offers a wide range of volunteer, education, and social programming and opportunities to continue supporting United Way's work. 
Along the way, we ate, we drank, we danced, we lived united. Throughout the spring, more than 2,500 foodies gathered at the 22nd annual Veritage Miami to eat, drink, and unite, raising $1.5 million for our community. And in June, hundreds of business, government, and community leaders danced under a massive disco ball to celebrate the 19th annual Mayor's Ball, hosted by Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez and wife Lourdes. By the last dance, we had raised more than $1 million. Hashtag goals. Throughout the year, we were reminded that you love us. You really love us. On social media, we shared, we laughed, we cried, we built a digital community. Thank you for all the likes, loves, emojis, Insta stories, shares, retweets, and comments. Thank you for joining us in the fight for a hashtag StrongerMiami.